Welcome to a beautiful oasis of lights. Old Westbury Gardens Shimmering Solstice is back, and it's bigger, brighter, and better than before. The idea was to let people come and experience the gardens in a new light. The Long Island Historic Landmark is always open from April to November, but while Westbury House welcomes visitors for limited engagements indoors during the off-season, 10 acres of the outdoor grounds will be dedicated to the second annual light show for the next few weeks. It's a little bit of a slow time for Old Westbury Gardens, but the structure of the gardens are still there, a lot of the architectural features, uh, the pergola here in the wall garden. <laughs> transforming the gardens to this nighttime spectacular was a huge undertaking. It took a team of 25 to 30 designers, technicians, and crew members just about three weeks to install. There are plenty of exhibits and snacks to enjoy, and while you're at it, snap some pics for the gram. Some of the features are back like this maze where children can play and the popular wall garden, but there are plenty of new attractions as well. This year we added more lights when you enter the experience. Computer controlled, energy saving LED bulbs are used throughout the space. Each one is programmed to change color during the show. It's hard to tell during the day, but these are actually luminary lights surrounding the West Pond. It's located just behind the mansion. One of the newest features of the shimmering solstice. By night, it gives off a warm glow against the half-frozen pond. Other new elements include live performances and holiday music through the illuminated event path. And then we added some shimmering objects in the trees to carry through the name Shimmering Solstice. And it all leads up to the big finale. The 10-minute projection show on the south side of the mansion displays scenes from various seasons underscored by music. A perfect way to take in the magnificent ambiance and celebrate the holiday season. In Old Westbury, I'm Stacey Ngooden, PIX11 News.